Hello everyone and welcome to CAD CAM CE tutorials. In this video, we'll see how to carry out static structural simulation for this part using SOLIDWORKS. So here we can see that this is a typical part and we are having grips to increase the strength of the component. And we want to see how it will deform under the load. So the same exercise you can repeat by removing the ribs and repeating the procedure. So in order to perform the simulation, here we should have the simulation tab. If it is not there, then we can go to the SOLIDWORKS add-ins and click on SOLIDWORKS simulation. So within few seconds, it will add simulation tab somewhere over here. So just enter the simulation tab now here on the left hand side we can see new study option. So click on the new study. Once the new study is entered, it will ask us to define the type of the simulation. So many type of simulations are available. In this tutorial we'll use static structural simulation. And here one can give any name for the simulation file. So once the type of simulation is selected, click on OK. So in order to carry out the simulation, we have to perform few tasks and at the end we'll be having results for the static structural simulation. So here we can see that the first one is the part that is basically the geometry part. So right click on the part and here we can apply material for this part because the deformation will depend on the material properties and different materials will have different properties so from here we can select the material for this part so we'll select plastic for this part and within the plastic we'll be using the high density polyethylene this one apply and close so once the material is applied we can see here the name of the material beside the name of the part now here in this tutorial we'll be having only single part so we won't be generating any connections so generally when multiple parts are available in the geometry then we have to define connections between them the next option is fixture so here what we'll assume that so here we can see that this part is having these three faces one two and three these three faces are basically touching the counter part and we'll assume that it is resting over those parts. So for these three faces, we'll be using fixed command. So right click on the fixtures, select here fixed geometry and we can select all the three faces by pressing control button. We can see over here all the three faces are available and click on Okay. Now after that we have to define the loading condition for the part. So here we'll be having uniform loading on the face of this part. So right click on the external loads, select here force and then we'll be applying the force on this face. And here the intensity of force is 20 Newton. And Ok, so here you can see the direction of the force, so it can be upwards or downwards, so in our case we will be having it upward direction and ok. So after applying the material, after having the boundary conditions and the external load, the next step is to define the mesh. So right click on the mesh, click on generate mesh. Now here you can see that you can either slide this to refine the mesh so coarse or fine mesh depending on the application and if you want to have a proper control over the mesh parameter then click on this mesh parameter and here you can change maximum size and the minimum size of the mesh. For this example we'll keep the same and ok. So here you can see that the mesh has been generated. 
though the mesh doesn't look optimal but for this example we just want to compare the results with ribs and without ribs so we'll keep it as it is and make sure that you use the same mesh for other simulation as well so once the mesh is generated in the result option right click and click on define or edit and by default here it will be having stresses and strains as a parameter for the results and click on ok so this is all about setting up the static structural simulation once the setup is done you can just click on run this study it will take few seconds or minutes depending on the configuration of the system and as a result it will show us three parameters trace displacement and strain so in our case we want to compare the displacement results so double click on the displacement and here the contour will be changed to displacement and here you can see that the maximum displacement it is at the center of the part and the magnitude of the displacement is around 0.5 mm I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then please hit on the like button share it and subscribe to this channel CAD CAM C tutorials thanks